Uh, so we're going to get kind of three different focal lengths of the Large Magellanic Cloud, and I think that's going to be a, a really cool kind of mission for the weekend. And then we'll get the bonus of the Milky Way Arch at the lookout. So this weekend, I'm up at the family cottage uh, in the Blue Mountains just outside of Sydney. Uh, we've got some beautiful clear skies. It's a really good spot up here. We're at uh, about 900 meters of elevation, so we can cut through a lot of that light pollution that we normally get back in the city. Uh, and then it's a Bortal 4 zone on top of that. So, you know, really quite good. Um, shouldn't really need any filters tonight. I'm up here for three nights. Looks like the first night should be pretty good, and the third night should be really good, and the night in between uh, a bit cloudy. Uh, but I've got a whole bunch. I've got my, my big rig, here, I've also brought my Star Adventurer to do some portable stuff. Um, and so there's a lookout about a 15 minute walk from here uh, that just looks out in this huge valley uh, looking directly west. Uh, and I'm hoping to get a panorama of the Milky Way Arch setting over this big valley. It's a really popular spot to take photos from. What I'm going to do now is just go scout out a location uh, at that lookout because that's kind of what I want to do first. The Milky Way sets pretty early at around about, uh, you know, kind of 10, 10 30, you really need to be done by then. It gets properly dark uh, about 9 p.m. So that gives you about an hour, hour and a half window to, to get that Milky Way in. All right, we're gonna start the walk now. Just come off the road to this little side track and we'll be, uh, be at Lincoln's Rock in about 15 minutes. All right, we've emerged off the track. I'm actually in a pretty treed area, but uh, we're lucky enough to have a tennis court on this property. So obviously it's really clear just here. And uh, this is my preferred spot to take photos while I'm up here. Uh, as you can probably tell from the way this is facing, so that is directly uh, north behind me and then south behind the camera. Uh, there's not a whole lot in the sky right now at this time of year, unfortunately, in the Southern Hemisphere that's too exciting. Uh, but the small and large Magellanic clouds are pretty good, uh, fairly high in the southern sky right now. So uh, I want to do a few different things with those. I want to do a wide angle kind of time lapse, maybe even a star trail uh, of the southern, uh, southern pole. Uh, and then I want to do uh, like a with a 50 millimeter lens of the whole large Magellanic cloud. And then with this guy, uh, we're going to go in deeper on the Tarantula Nebula. Mm -hmm. 